Hey babes, it's Sharonda Isadora and welcome to Brazy Babe Reviews. And during this video, I'll be talking about a book. And that book is Drag Me Up, A Gods of Hunger Novel by R.M. Virtues. And here's your cover. It's shiny because it's an all black cover, but as always, you'll see uh, the cover as a face of this thing that I'm doing right here. So let's talk about this book. This book I came across on Twitter. I bought it a couple of weeks ago, but I've seen a couple of my mutuals talking about it, loving on this book. So I was like, you know what? Don't even wait. Just go read it now. And I'm so glad that I did not wait, that I read it immediately, okay? So if y'all hear a little baby breathing in the background, I'm also babysitting, okay? So, um, so in this book, you have a retelling of Hades story okay we still had the meat and bones of kind of like the whole greek mythology and the pantheon and all these things that go on with greek mythology but this is definitely a retelling uh we have uh hades and persephone who are black characters we also have uh persephone who is a trans character um loved it okay so you have hades who is owner of this casino um him and persephone meet Shh. him and persephone meet because persephone has an opportunity to perform in his casino um she is a dancer she's like that you know those silk dancers you know in the circles to lay and all that other stuff she dances in it's sheets and all that other stuff she's really good she's an awesome performer so she has an opportunity to perform um, to get a permanent job as a dancer within this company, this dance company that she's dancing in. And she's, you know, both her and Hades are kind of like blown with, blown away with each other when they first see each other. Um, however, Persephone is a little bit, um, she's a little bit wary of uh hades because he's zeus's brother and Perse persephone has her own issues with zeus inside of the story he a motherfucking stalker okay he getting on her goddamn nerves and she don't want to be bothered she has been more than in my opinion too damn polite and letting him know to get the fuck out her face but you know um it is what it is. So, you know, when she first meets up with Hades, she's kind of like wary of him. And then as we go through the story and we have this romance building between both her and Hades, um, she is kind of like, you know, initially kind of like scared to tell him of the situation that she's having with his brother. But for the most part, people around her were telling her that, you know, Hades doesn't move like that, you know. Yes, he does a lot to protect, um, Leah. she does a lot to protect, he does a lot to protect Zeus or whatever, but he doesn't just blindly protect, uh, Zeus. Uh, Hades is a very soft character inside of this book, but he thinks and, and he, he thinks before he jumps. Okay. Um, so He's always very careful how he deals with Zeus's fuck ups. Okay, like so shh. so um, initially she's very wary of telling him about Zeus, but she does. What I loved about this story was how one of the things that I loved about this story was how uh, Hades and Persephone were able to go to each other whenever they had their problems we see as we see the building of this romance between them how they're both were able when they're having any outside issues they were able to come to one another and talk about it and release whatever tensions or stress that they had they were able to talk amongst each other and just you know deal with and, and deal with what they had to deal with with each other there were no internal issues between Persephone and Hades. And I love that so much. I love that they made a safe space inside of their relationship for one another. Like whatever outside problems we having, we gonna come and talk to each other about it. It ain't gonna be no internal shit between us as far as outside shit, okay? So, oh, this book was so good. The world building is amazing. I love the world building inside of this book. 
uh the way art and virtues just re re do or re has redone the whole pantheon from like um Hades Casino to you know Mount Olympus and, and how Mount Olympus is told inside of this book is really a thing a wonder we still see the return of some of our favorite uh you know characters uh in a Greek mythology Aphrodite and Adonis and Apollo Achilles all these people we see but we see them in a different way how especially within uh, Hades world how these characters are so loving and so supporting of one another like they have each other's back no matter what so the main problem inside this goddamn book is Zeus okay we all know throughout all these stories of Zeus he is asshole but Zeus is all, also always made out to be the hero inside of these stories while Hades is kind of like the bad guy Hades is not the bad guy in the story this is his story so he's the hero inside of his story we see how Hades struggles with finally uh you know telling his brother like I can't do the things that I've been doing for you like I just been just like putting up with your shit and allowing everybody else to put up with your shit we can't do that anymore and we see how Hades struggles with that inside of this book and how him even with Persephone her relationship with Demeter like these there there are certain characters inside of this book like the way this world is set up it's it's like you know everybody is a boss of their own little section and things like that and Demeter is a bad badass boss okay and this is why Persephone has like this hardness even though she's a very soft sweet character she still has this hardness about her because she got it from her mama okay and we also see how Perse Persephone uh she doesn't so much struggles as much as Hades does Persephone is very much willing to tell her mama you're doing too much okay and I ain't got time for this you know like you my mama and I love you but you're doing too much lady okay that's how Persephone was with her mother and I love that kind of like I love you I'll do anything for you I'll even come back and run this goddamn you know this section for you or whatever but you ain't gonna be kind of like coming over here all up in my business okay um the other thing i loved was how rm virtue dealt with persephone's transness okay i love that we saw the love and support uh as she talked about her transition how her family was there for her some of her family members were there for her um and I, what I especially love was how when she told Hades that, you know, before we go any further in this, that, you know, I'm, you know, I'm trans, how Art and Virtues made that a safe space for her, how she was able to go to someone who was eventually going to be her lover and her partner and tell him, like, you know, she, he made that a safe space for Persephone and I love that that was just so amazing to see on page the way he just writes these characters the love and the care that he takes with these queer characters on page was just I, girl I was just here for it okay the sex scenes inside of this book y'all fucking fire the sex scenes inside this book were girl burn your panties off hot okay I was they was hot as fuck okay they was good you know like the good porno type sex girl it was woo, make you feel a little bit something type sex it was good oh my god uh <laughs> i can't rant and rave enough about this book i think it's a really like for the, like in a serious note this is really a good book this is probably one of not even this is one of the best books that i've read so far this year just his retelling his reimagining of Hades as a character was just oh I mean child 
I wanted to fight the shit out of Zeus because I was like, you ain't going to keep fucking with my friend. That's how you feel about Hades inside of this book, you know, or you feel about Zeus and his re the relationship that him and Hades has. You know, you on Hades' side. You looking at Zeus like, if you keep fucking with my friend, I'm going to beat you up. You know, that's how it is. I love that he made Hades this very soft character. Like, he was down with the get down. If he had to fuck shit up, he was going to fuck shit up. But Hades was really just a really gentle, soft character. All, like I said, all he wanted to do was just run his business and love on his family. That's all Hades wanted to do. But Zeus was always fucking shit up. And I was just like, somebody don't punch this man in the face, please. You know, it was good. I did a whole tweet, Twitter thread on this book because I was excited to read this story. And I think my excitement... Not just excitement of just reading a new author and just the freshness of the story, but I haven't read a romance that centers around Greek mythology in a very long time. And going inside of this book and just getting this is this 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 fresh take on it with all these different characters. And just the way Hades was written himself, child, let me tell y'all something. I was, I was here for all the fucking shit and the shenanigans. I was here for it. The romance between Persephone and Hades is so beautiful on page. Just, again, the, the way they made their space safe for one another was just like, whew. I want... <laughs> I won't, you know what I mean? It was so beautiful on page. I loved it. This book is so good. I highly recommend you guys go get this book. Go read this book. This book is available uh on Kindle. It is not in the Kindle Unlimited program, but this is a book worth purchasing. This is a book worth all your coins is so good just like everything just the whole greek world and the characters and hades and persephone themselves were just uh, beautiful i loved it um you're gonna enjoy this book i highly recommend it again it is drag me up by rm virtues virtues this is the first book and what it's going to be a series. And you know I was on Twitter like, child, just let me know when you drop that second book. Because I'm in on it. I'm in on it. I'm here. Um, I do hope he has the paperback copy of this book available because I'm going to purchase it. Because this is a book that I want to have on my shelves. Like, for real, for real. Because it's worth it, baby. It's worth it. So, um, yeah, check it out. I think you will love it. If you love Greek mythology, if you love retellings of Greek mythology, uh, romance, you're going to dig, you're going to love this book. It's so well worth reading. And don't wait to read it when you get it. Read it. Like, as soon as you get it, crack that bitch open and read it, okay? Just read her now. <laughs> Read her now. Just read her now. You will not. I'm telling you. In my opinion, that it's, it's the best book of 2021. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. That's what I say. Okay? All right. So that is it for me, y'all. Um, And until the next one, later days. Bye.